Hey everybody, uh, welcome to the tutorial. Uh, today what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do uh, teleports. And uh, they're kind of like the doors. And I have one kind of set up right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how we can set one of these up in Con and Exiles. So we'll go ahead and get our, our character here. And you can hear the humming of the portal. And before we go, <laughs> let me go ahead and let's get uh, our character. Just put her in God mode. Uh, let's do no sprint cost. And let's make sure we just have food and water. Okay. So now <clears throat> we're here. And what happens is if we're not going to have an interaction. We're just going to be able to walk into the portal. Now, the teleport blueprint's a little strange. You try to give it text or interaction, and it, it's not functioning quite well. So I'll double check it one more time, make sure, but I'm having some issues with it myself. So uh, we'll go ahead and we're going to enter it. And it's going to teleport us across on the same map, but it's going to teleport us over to our doors. Okay. So we can't go back unless we place another one. So we'll go ahead and run back here one more time and show you. And it's going to throw up a load screen automatically. And here you are. Okay. All right. So, <clears throat> the way it works, and I'll kind of go over the blueprint here. So, I'm going to highlight the blueprint, and I'm going to actually go ahead and show you where you can find it in the content browser here. So, it is over here, teleport, uh, BP, blueprint, trigger, teleport. Okay? And you're just going to drag one out onto your map. Now, you want to make sure that you drag the teleport blueprint onto the same map. So if you're going from one side of the world to the other side of the world, they have to be on the same map. And I, I suggest you use the Camp Mods Zero um, Levels for uh, modders. And if you want, or if you create custom a custom map, you can put them in custom maps. But you got to have them on the same map to teleport from one side to the other because of level streaming. Okay, So that's why they have to be on the same map. So keep that in mind when you set these teleports up. Okay. So looking at the teleport, just kind of like the doors, you have your target box, which is where we're going to uh, travel to, okay? And then we have the uh, what we call the trigger box. And the trigger box is where the character is going to walk in, and boom, it's going to fly us over here to uh, our uh, target box where we're going to land, okay? So one other thing, too, make sure you have your target box above the terrain just slightly so that your character doesn't fall through the world. Otherwise, you're going to have uh, all kinds of bug reports and some angry players. <laughs> okay. So now, um, particles. So now to add the particle, you, you have a particle system here. So what you can do is you go up here and add component, and you type particle, and you can select the particle system. Okay. So, but I already have one, so I'm not going to put another one in there. Okay, and you click the blueprint again, you, you can add another component called audio, so we get our sound effect. Uh, you can use the Conan audio or audio. Um, I believe you should use the Conan audio, um, but I believe you can get away with audio. If you have any bugs on that, just swap the two, but it, I think it's using the base Unreal audio, and it's, it should be okay. Now, like I said, if you have any issues, use the Conan audio. Um, let me double check here. Yeah, that don't have anything on that. Okay. So now we have have those little components added. Um, you can adjust the audio component to um, once you highlight it in the blueprint. Make sure you adjust it to the right appropriate level. Also, you want to make sure on the audio that you have override. Um, let's see, subtitles. <laughs> you don't need override subtitles. You need to um, allow spatialization and override attenuation. Now, overriding attenuation gives us a radius and the fall-off distance of how far away you can hear the sound. Your players can hear the sound of the humming of the portal. Okay. Your radius, I would leave this. Just keep it default. But this is where you want to adjust the fall-off um, as far as see that, the yellow line, the circumference of that circle. That's how far out your character will hear the humming of the portal so you can make little smaller sounds you know closer to the portal or further away from the portal okay um, your particle effect really simple you just you can adjust the particle itself 
whatever you need to do. Place it this beam one, the transforms down here under the terrain. Don't worry about that. Just set it up to whatever object you're trying to make it look like. Um, to add another like static mesh to this blueprint, so like say we want to have a teleport pad, right? So you just go up in your add component, static mesh. Okay, it's empty. I'm just going to go ahead into my um, environmental folder. We're going to go to uh, buildings. And let's see, oh, sorry, we're going to go to Dungeons, and let's clear that entry so I can see here. And just for fun, we're just going to go ahead and put in the, let's see, where was it? Um, this candle thing, the kind of gold candle, uh, which I'm going to call it, which is the War Maker socket, okay? All right, and hopefully we can walk up on it. We're just gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and flip it just to be on the safe side so we can actually walk on this thing. Um, so you can you adjust it, you can add, add it this way if you wanted to, just this particular thing. You don't wanna do too many blueprints, you know, add them up a bunch of crap on them, stuff like that. Don't overload the blueprint. Just get what you need for a basis so you kinda have it kinda constructed and then you can copy paste it, whatever you need to do. Um, and then just build other static meshes just around it if you want to make it a little bit more fancy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit play from here. <clears throat> and I'm gonna quickly walk on here. And see, you can hear our sound. As we walk away, it disappears. So based on the fall off radius, we just hit it, boom, it takes us to our door. And you could do the same thing. You can set up the gold disc over here if you wanted to, and a beam, whatever you need to do, but you wouldn't have to place it on the blueprint. You can just place it in the proximate of your trigger, or sorry, your target box, okay? All right, so running back here, we can hear it humming. So there we have it. Okay, so taking uh, the blank teleport, like I said, I'd show you how to do this. So it's empty, it has none of the, the audio and anything like that. So we're going to highlight our trigger, and oops, and I'm not going to touch those. We're going to go over here, and we're going to go down here to the um, box extents right here, the shape. And what we're going to do is we're going to adjust that trigger like so with the extents. Don't do it from the scaling of the blueprint. Oops, and then we want to adjust. Oops, don't want to hit that. Crazy me trigger box there we go uh, no one more time want to adjust the box extent and we can bring our we can bring the blueprint up if we want or leave it at the base here it's up to you I try to keep it um, by adjusting it this way and then sometimes I can actually get the thing to adjust there you go you just pull it up like so and then we can expand it like so if we need to just you know get it to where the player will collide with it to teleport them okay so that's our trigger and then we highlight our blueprint again now we're going to go to the target so now let's go ahead and take the target and we're going to use these arrows and drag it out across the way here like so and we're going ahead and we're going to adjust the box extents down here on the shape. So once again, stretch it out. Make sure it is uh, above the terrain, not sunk. Okay, so your player don't fall through the world. All right, now, if you want, you could you you can do on the target on the blueprint. You can add. Um, a static mesh, I believe. I'm trying to think. Not really. You, well, technically you could. What you could do is add a component. And this is just another little cheap way to do it too quick. If you're not going crazy, what you can do is do a mesh, right? And you know exactly where this location is. You could do something like this. And plop it over here. And it's just a good example of what you can do. So you can do something like this if you want to on the blueprint. Um, 
you know, everybody's got their say, oh, that's performance issues, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's, it's whatever works, you know, as long as you don't go overkill, okay, uh, you can make it happen. So now it's attached to the trigger there. Um, and then if we want, we could add another one. We could duplicate this, duplicate, bring it, bring the other one over here because we know that's our set spot, our position, and you kind of have it so you can copy paste it. So you have, a, you have kind of, you know, in your proximity, wherever you want to do it, if you want to do it that way, you don't have to, you can just take a um, static mesh and place it under the triggers, you know, so it frees you up to move around if you need to. So, but this is one way you can kind of permanent and you know exactly what you want. Okay. Now we go to our blueprint here. We're going to add the component. We're going to add the particle system. Okay. Our particles there. And I'm just going to go here and click on this one so I can search to the particle. Um, so what you can do is search to the particle and you can find a bunch of particles in the folder. I'm specifically using that one. Okay. Um, some of these particles are looping. Some are not. Some are just a fire off effect and disappear. Let's see if I use the Elder Essence on this particle here. So I'm going to highlight that there and just hit this. And let's see what that looks like. Okay. So now we got that cool misty looking kind of essence thing spark in there. All right. Now we click the blueprint again. We add a component. We can add the Conan audio. I'm just going to do the Conan audio this time. I believe both will work. I'm just going to go back to this blueprint. Look for that audio cue. Okay, under sound effects, environment, volcano. It's the uh, port, volcano blue portal. And let's see, I'm going to go ahead and highlight the audio here. Now you can do, you can do drag and drop in here, right? Or you can just hit the little arrow here and plop it in. Okay. And now, like I said, you want to go ahead and just hit override attenuation because I don't want it to overlap anything else. I'm going to decrease the fall off and bring it in really close. Okay, so you have to get really close up to this and be able to hear it. Now, on the blueprint, we also want to make sure that we now, to be able to travel to our target, make sure you hit use target box rotation. That's going to tell it to communicate to that box. All this other stuff I think has kind of gotten outdated and it's no longer working accordingly. Okay. But it still does the main mission. It moves your player across the map. Okay. So we hit save just to make sure. And we hit play. And hopefully we don't crash and the Conan audio should work. Yep. It's barely. <laughs> we, we moved it down a little too quiet okay now we got collision on we got a collision on this um, gold thing so that's why we're floating kind of high so you just change the collision if you get any static meshes like that just change the collision on the static mesh to um, complex if you need to use a particular mesh and I'd copy the mesh to your mod folder to a custom mesh folder that way you have it and you can change the collisions on it Okay, and that'll be another tutorial I can go over later. Okay, so we can hear this portal. No, we can't hear that portal, I think, because we're overlapping. That's interesting. <laughs> Maybe it's too close. Maybe we should move it. I'm not hearing it now. Okay. Let me see. Did I, or did I accidentally blop it out of the blueprint on accident? Let's see. Did I clear it? Let's look. Doot, doot, doot. No, it's saying it's there. But it might be overlapping with that other one. So we'll just go ahead and, oops, we'll go ahead and move the entire blueprint. And let me see if I can highlight. There we go. So we'll just move the entire blueprint. But remember, when you move the entire blueprint, notice that your target box moves with it and stays within the approximate location where we set it up before. So I'm just going to move over here and we'll see what the, why that sound has kind of gone weird. Like I said, the dev kit does some strange things. You saw it was working before when I was exampling, but now we're not hearing it. Kind of weird. So that might be because it's the Unreal uh, Engine base audio. So let's go ahead and we'll just add the Conan to it. I was trying to remember exactly which one we could use. Uh, audio, let's just do audio. 
in Conan Audio. Okay, and what we'll do is I'm just gonna jump quickly to that sound sound file. Let me see where's my sound file at. I'm gonna search to it. All right, and I'm just gonna put it onto the Conan Audio. Bloop. And we're gonna make sure we do override. Do the sphere. We're gonna bring the sphere in on it a little bit. And let's go ahead and just delete the old audio there. Okay, like so. And that should be off the blueprint. And then sometimes you have to re-click to get the transform to show up. So if you don't see the radius of adjusting the audio fall off, just unclick off the blueprint, re-click so that it can refresh in the engine. Yeah, you know, Unreal Engine's kind of funny like that about certain things. Okay, so let's hit play from here one more time. Uh, my demo here. And we should hear the audio. Okay, yep, so there's our audio. So use the Conan audio. Okay. So if we go back over here to this one that we created, our created blueprint, notice we can't hear it. So let's just go back in here and let's readjust our fall off on our audio, our Conan audio. And we're just going to go ahead and increase it because that's way out there. So let's do about, you know, 400, 500 is pretty good. So we'll hit play from here. Now, when we go to teleport, we might get stuck in our mesh. So we'll go ahead and make sure. Nope, actually, he kind of put us on the outside of it. Okay, good. But sometimes you got to be careful because you can actually teleport inside the mesh. Okay. So, but yeah, so that's basically it. This is how you can set up the, uh, the portal. Just like so. It'll take you. But remember, it has to be on the same map. Okay. Um, if not, your teleport will not teleport you to the proximate place. It'll teleport you and drop you through the world. So they got to be able to communicate on the same map together. So you could do short range portals on a height map tile. You could do other things as well. Okay. So other than that, I think we kind of covered everything. Um, leave any comments, you know, if you want to see other things, I'll try to cover those. Like I said, I, I try to keep the tutorials up. I just get a little busy because I'm doing a custom Conan map. I'm also working on an indie game, so it keeps a lot of my attention. But I am trying to get the tutorials produced. So hopefully, um, you know, you guys are finding these very helpful. And uh, I appreciate your guys' support. You can find me on Patreon, um, my, uh, my Discord channel. And um, if you want to donate a dollar for the tutorials, you know, I'm going to go ahead and change that for tutorials for a dollar a month. Um, and that way, you know, it's a lot cheaper. It supports me, uh, supports my server and my, um, my modding, my custom modding as I've been buying uh, custom assets. So we got some really cool stuff going on. So check out my art station, my Discord, all that stuff. You can see some of the work that we're currently doing for the custom uh, Conan map. With that um, being said, um, like I said, any questions, please post, post them in the comments. I'll try to get back to you. Or if you go to my Conan Discord, I can get back to you a lot quicker. It's hard to keep managing all these different social media accounts. So if you could do the modding question in the Discord channel, um, that would be very helpful. And just reference the tutorial video that you're watching that you have questions on. And I'll try to get with you and help you out or answer those questions. So with that being said, thank you guys. Appreciate it. And we will catch you next time. Bye, everybody.